Hello and welcome to today's tutorial on image processing. In the previous tutorial, we found out how to take a snapshot from the camera and display it. In today's tutorial, we will see how to display the live video from a camera. In order to do that, let us edit the file that we had saved earlier called camimage.py by saying right click edit with idle. Now let us save it as camvideo.py since we are going to show the video. Now when we are showing the video there are a few changes to be made. Basically the part where we read the image, do the processing and show the image we need to run this part in a continuous loop till the user presses some particular key. So therefore let us call this new part as video loop. Now remember that Python works with indentation. So what we need to do is to first start the loop by saying while one and once we have done this we need to make sure that we get our indentation correct. To do that, just tab. Now, for the first part of the loop, we read the image. As for the processing part, it as before remains blank. And finally, we keep showing the image each time we read it. Now, just check that we are showing the same matrix as the one we are saving. One problem with this is that we have no way to exit this loop as of now. So therefore, we can use the cv2 command wait key in a special way. Basically, we are going to, since cv2.wait key returns a key, we are going to wait for one millisecond after showing the frame to see if the user presses a key. In case he presses escape, the value returned by cv2.wait key is 27 which is the ASCII for the escape key. In case this happens, then we will break our loop. And since the user has already pressed a key, we can delete the statement. Alright, let us recap. What we did is put these three sections in a loop, which is read, process and show. And finally, we have said that if the user presses escape, then it should break out of this continuous loop. Let us say and run this program and see how it works. As you can see, this is a live video. When I press a key, escape, then the program exits. To recap, this is what we shall call a video loop and henceforth for programs that involve video, we will be modifying this program instead. In this, we have put the middle three sections into a continuous loop which breaks when the user presses escape. That's all for today's tutorial. See you next time.